Is sous chef a good position to be? Written by Dave Nicholson Kitchen Life. Sous chef is perhaps the most misunderstood position within the kitchen hierarchy opens in a new tab. To those looking in on the industry, the use of French words and the various opinions on exactly what each role entails can be confusing to say the least. With that in mind, this article draws together everything we need to know about sous chefs, including what a sous chef is, a sous chef's role within the kitchen and how long it takes to become a sous chef. I worked for several years as a sous chef in a busy hotel kitchen. This article is as a result of my up and down experiences in this challenging position. A sous chef is the second in command of the kitchen. They work closely alongside the head chef to ensure that the day-to-day running is as smooth as possible. In the head chef's absence, it is the sous chef who takes control of the kitchen. The word, sous, translates from French to, under. This makes a lot more sense when we discover that the sous chef is second in command. The sous chef is, under, the head chef opens in a new tab. Often, people mistakenly believe that sous chef means soup chef or sauce chef. This is not the case and any sous chef will be quick to correct them. Now we can take a look at what this role involves on a day-to-day basis. What is the role of a sous chef? This can vary significantly depending on the type of head chef they are working under. Some head chefs take a very hands-on approach, whilst others take more of an administrative backseat approach. The role of a sous chef is to support the head chef in the day-to-day running of the kitchen. This is similar to the way an assistant manager supports the manager in other types of businesses. The head chef will write the menus and then communicate their ideas with the sous chef. The sous chef is then responsible for putting these ideas into reality and communicating with the section leaders. The chef de parties opens in a new tab. Sous chefs are in the kitchen working alongside opens in a new tab. The rest of the brigade. During a lunch or dinner service they will be on the stoves cooking. And due to their senior position, they will often take the higher pressure sections opens in a new tab, such as meat or fish. This, on the ground approach, makes them very well respected by the rest of the brigade. In fact, we often see instances where the sous chef gains more respect from the others than the head chef. Not an ideal situation for the whole team but an issue that does appear nonetheless. As sous chefs are in the kitchen, pepping and cooking every day, they are a large part of the camaraderie opens in a new tab that exists within the brigade. If I may use an armed forces analogy, if the head chef is an officer that gives the orders, a sous chef is the sergeant on the ground that ensures these orders are carried out. Sous chefs can have a fearsome reputation. In many kitchens it is the sous chefs who shout and issue the orders. If things aren't going to plan, this frees the head chef up to communicate with the front of house staff opens in a new tab and concentrate on plating up. Many restaurants are open seven days a week and rely on a rotor system opens in a new tab for their staff. In these cases, on the two days off a week which the head chef has, the sous chef will take responsibility and be the acting head chef for those two days. Due to how closely the sous and head chef must work together it is vital that they get on well and have the same vision for the cuisine. We often see instances that when a head chef moves to a new restaurant opens in a new tab, They will take the sous chef with them. Great partnerships can be formed and the correct head chef can be a valuable mentor to a sous chef. That's looking to make the next step up the career ladder.
in terms of the type of prep or cooking work that they do. A sous chef will often take the more important jobs. For example, if there are fillets of beef to prep the sous will often do these. You will not find them on the veg section peeling potatoes. The sous chef is also a point of call for the other chefs. When they need guidance on how a dish should be cooked, they will speak to them to get some direction. Sous chefs can also act like the captain of a football team. They provide feedback from the brigade to the head chef. If there are issues with the brigade as a whole, the sous chef will be the diplomatic link between the head chef and the rest of the team. Is there only ever one sous chef? As we can see from the role outlined above, the many tasks a sous chef has to perform are vast and therefore some kitchens need more than one. Sous chef. Larger kitchens will often employ several sous chefs to help share the workload. In these instances, roles such as senior sous chef and junior sous chef are often created. Promotion opens in a new tab. To positions such as junior sous chef are a great way to reward chef de parties opens in a new tab. Which are doing a great job and that we don't want to lose to another kitchen. This is especially useful if the sous chef isn't going anywhere for a while and we want to keep the chef de party motivated. There really is no limit to the number of sous chefs we can have in our kitchen. But ultimately it is decided on by size of the brigade and available talent.